Right, so in this video, we're going to look at the differentiation of a trigonometric function by first principle. Okay, it says we should differentiate sine x by first principle. And then now here we have that the f of x is sine x. That means f of x plus h will be sine x plus h. We are replacing x with sine uh, x plus h. That's uh, okay. So and then this is the formula for the derivative of a function by first principle. Okay, so now we want to make substitution here. And that is going to give us that this is equal to the limit of sine x plus h, which is our f of x plus h minus sine x all over h as h goes to zero. Okay, so we recall that by complex uh, what we call compound angles in under trigonometry, we know that if you have sine a plus b, it is equal to that is sine x plus h is going to be equal to sine x cos h plus sine h cos x. Okay, so if we substitute this now into this place, we are going to have that our f of f prime of x is equal to the limit as h goes to zero of uh, sine x cos h plus uh, cos x sine h then uh, minus the sine x that is already here okay and everything is over h all right now here we we can see that there is sine x in this term and there is sine x here. so we want to collect those two together and if we do that we will have the limit as x goes as h goes to zero of sine x cos h minus sine x then plus cos x sine h all over h Okay, so at this point, we want to split this bracket, sorry, this fraction. And of course, if we, you know, if we split it, the limit will go on the two of them. So that's going to give us the limit as h goes to zero of sine x cos h minus sine x all over h. Then plus the limit will come on this other fraction as h goes to zero of what we just have here is cos s sine h all over h also okay so we just got this by splitting this fraction into two okay and so from here now we can see that uh, recall that okay so we can see here now that our sine x we can factorize it and if we do that we're going to have the limit as h goes to zero of sine x into cos h minus one all over h uh, then plus now of cos x sine h over h okay so what do we have now from there we have that uh, the the we, what we have here now is sine x and so since it's sine x and the limit is having the variable h, that means it's just like a constant. So this limit cannot do anything. We can actually bring it outside the limit. And the same thing is applicable for cos x here. So that means we are going to have here now sine x. Then the limit will now be on cos h minus 1 all over x as h sorry all over h as h goes to zero then plus in this case now cos x will come out and so we'll have cos x limit of sine h all over h as h goes to zero now you can see what happens here recall i told you that if you have the limit of sine x over x as s goes to zero i, I told you that this is going to give you one and I said we can get this using L'Hopital's rule. That means that the whole of this as h goes to zero is actually equal to one. And so what we'll have here now left is uh, 
going to be now but in this case if you substitute x that is h as 0 here you are going to have cos 0 is 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0 and then all over 0 which is indeterminate so what do you do multiply both the numerator and denominator by the positive of this that is uh, cos h plus 1 and so we are going to have sine x limit of cos h minus 1 multiplied by cos h plus 1 all over cos h plus 1 now remember that this is over h and our h here is going to 0 then plus here we have only cos x left because the whole of these has turned to 1 all right and then from here <clears throat> if we multiply this we are going to have sine x to the limit of h going to 0 if we multiply this remember that this is just a difference of two squares so if we bring them together we are going to have cos cos square h minus 1 that's difference of two squares the square of cos and minus square of 1 all over in the denominator we now have h into cos h plus 1 and that is plus cos of x okay so from here what next are we going to do we're going to bring in a relationship that says that uh, sine squared x plus cos squared x is actually equal to 1 why am i doing this because i want to do a substitution here i want to take this to sine so that i will be able to simplify and get a value okay so what do i do take one to this side and take sine squared x to this side and if you do that you are going to get one coming here becomes minus one sine squared x coming here becomes minus sine squared x so that is to say that the whole of this cos squared h minus one is actually going to be sine squared h minus sine squared h okay so now if we do that substitution then it means we are going to have sine x limit as h goes to zero okay and so from here what do we do next so i'm going to split this into two fractions and the reason is so that i will be able to do a direct substitution of zero and you will see it after this step so if i split this i'm going to have sine h over h then times minus sine h all over cos h plus one now you can see that if we still multiply this we'll get back what we have here sine h times minus sine h will give you minus sine squared h and h times cos h plus one will give you this and that is plus cos x all right so at this point we can now do a direct substitution of zero into the limit here so if we put h as zero remember what i said earlier the whole of this will become one and if you put h as zero here you have sine zero which is zero because zero is one so you have one plus one which is two zero all over one so everything here will turn to zero and so one times zero is zero and the limit of zero is zero and so that zero times this sine x will everything will give us zero then plus cos x and which is equal to cos x therefore the derivative of f of x uh, the derivative of f of x that we're asked to find is actually equal to cos x and that's the solution so i would allow you to do this as an exercise if f of x is equal to cos x that's the reverse find the value of f prime of x using the method that we have used here that's the first principle approach all right and that's where we'll stop for this video kindly subscribe to our youtube channel comment uh, so we know you are following us and uh, like and please do share our videos and our youtube channel to your friends and families that will need it thank you see you in our next video bye